So this question is a diagram question. It looks like we have two parallel lines with a transversal. I have to confirm that, of course. But for sure, this 145 degree angle that's been provided is a vertical angle to this x degree angle here, which means x must be equal to 145, right? So anytime I see a diagram, I always draw my attention to the diagram first before reading the question, just to see what can I figure out? What do I know about this diagram? You know, of course I can figure out other angles here as well. Um, so let's see what's going on. So the question says in the figure, line M is parallel to line N. So I'm gonna just draw these little symbols to represent that. And line K intersects both lines, right? So I was correct in assuming that this is a transversal across two parallel lines. Which of the following statements is true? Well, let's see. The value of X is less than 145. Well, that's not true because the value of X actually equals 145. Choice B, the value of X is greater than 145. No. Choice C, the value of X is equal to 145. Yes, absolutely. And D must be incorrect. The value of X cannot be determined. Yes, it can. So the truth is I didn't really need to know that M and N were parallel in order to answer this particular question because these two angles are congruent based upon a different rule. Um, outside of being parallel or having parallel lines, and that is vertical angles. So if that's something that doesn't sound familiar, you can look that up, vertical angles. So vertical angles are just angles that are formed whenever two lines intersect, right? And they're opposite angles, right? So this angle here, for instance, is vertical to this angle here, and they must be congruent. But so would these two, right? So this angle here would also be considered vertical to this angle here, and therefore they must be congruent to each other. So our answer is choice C.